one, you are crashing out. You are literally, you're washed, bro. You're literally washed. So that's all I um to out of respect for the girl. I'm not gonna even say who it was. I'm not finna. I'm not even fair. You know, I told my brothers. Of course, I'm gonna tell my brothers. Like, if I'm going through some shit, I expect to tell you something. I don't expect you to tell the world. Don't tell the world what what you told me. Some shit. I'm not finna go back and. And tell the world what you going through. I'm not finna. I don't expect you to do the same. The fact that you even did that, that's fucked up. And I and that's fucked up even for the girl because imagine the damage and the trauma that she's going through already from having to go through whatever the fuck she went through. And the fact that you put that online, you just you know what I'm saying? It's just fucked up. It's super fucked up. And um, out of respect of the of the girl, I'm not finna say who it is. I'm not speaking on her. We already talked. We already had a conversation. Even today, I talked to her about the shit today. So leave that stuff out of it. Whatever you want to say, Mikey, talk, talk your shit, man. I done seen a lot of niggas on this YouTube shit. So many niggas, bro. I can't, I can name so many of these little 2K niggas. So many of these little YouTubers that have spoken my name since like 2016. And in the past, honestly, how I've handled it has been horrible. Like just blowing up going crazy. I'm not giving this nigga Mikey the time of day, bro. He's over with. His career is done. He will never be SSH. He doesn't have the work ethic. He doesn't have the motivation and determination to be great. He will never be greater than me. Do I want him to? Yes, of course. I want every nigga that I fuck with to advance to a life that's bigger than me, but he will never be that because he don't have it in him. I told him all the time, you're very talented um, funny. I, I, me personally, I felt like he was the funniest in SSH, but if you're not putting in the time, the work and the effort to actually be the best, you'll never be the best. Sorry, somebody calling me, but, um, if you don't put in the time, the work and the effort, you'll never be the best, bro. And that's what I told him all the time. This girl is calling me. Hold on. Y'all. Hold on. But I tell him all the time, if you don't have the time and the effort, what? Let me call you right back. Hold on. But I tell him all the time, if you don't put in the hard work, the effort to be the best, you'll never be the best. I feel like he's extremely talented. He's funny. He has a way with comedy. But if you don't put in the work, you don't put in the time, you don't put in the effort. Don't expect millions and millions and millions of fucking views. I've had niggas for, for, for years. You know how, bro, niggas for years put down on my name, Fredo fake this, Fredo fake that, Fredo this, Fredo that, Fredo. But guess what? I'm still here. Why? Because I put in the time, the effort, the dedication, the motivation into my craft to work hard. That's what I do. I work hard. And that's why I will continue to be here because no matter what, nobody can ever take away from my dedication. Nobody can ever take away from the fact that I got it out the mud and I will continue to do so. I don't dick ride niggas. I don't dick ride uh, rappers and YouTubers for clouts and videos. I don't need that shit. I don't need to do that. I, I've never been that type of nigga and I never will. And the niggas that I fuck with, the, the niggas that I really fuck with. Oh, and this is the big thing. A lot of niggas hate on SSH because I don't fuck with nobody. A lot of niggas hate me simply because I don't fuck with anybody. I don't fuck with no one. And I don't fuck with no one out of my own pride. I take pride in everything that I built from the ground up. I would way rather fuck with some, some people that are heavily supportive of what I do in my movement versus uh, a, a rapper or a YouTuber who don't give a fuck and just looking for their next mail on their next video. I way, way rather than, uh, way rather fuck with that. So that's why in SSH, I only fuck with my niggas. I don't collab with nobody. I don't feature nobody. None of that shit. I don't care to do that. I will never care to do that in any point in my life. Y'all got to understand that. I only fuck with my niggas and that's why a lot of niggas hate me. There's not a lot of niggas that can vouch and say, oh, well, I was with Fredo. No, you can never say that because you was never with me. Sorry, this girl keep calling me. I was only ever and in my entire career only with my niggas, only with people that genuinely support my grind, genuinely support SSH. They helped me and I helped them back. Anybody else, I don't give a fuck about. There's no disrespect on that. No disrespect to other YouTubers, rappers and shit. I just personally, I don't like fucking with other niggas because when you let.
Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. She keep calling me. Stop calling me for two seconds. Oh, my God. Just give me two seconds, please. Hold on, y'all. Jesus. Jesus Christ. And when I call her, she don't answer the phone. Anyways, the reason why I keep my... And, and it, Mikey is a prime example of why I keep my circle extremely, extremely small. You let one snake inside your circle, bro, it will destroy... It will. They, they will attempt to destroy everything, bro. And this is why I don't fuck with niggas, bro. This is why I don't fuck with niggas. This sh the whole shit with even Ashley Ortega. All of that shit started because of Mikey. And Mikey even said it to me. He said I was low-key looking for clout. When he did that, when everything sparked up and it went crazy, it all started with Mikey being in that live. I allow him to go to another level. So I take full responsibility for that. But this is why I keep my circle extremely, extremely small. And this is why I will continue to do so. I don't give a fuck what rap. Or what you type this girl don't stop calling me oh my god dude girl called me like 10 times why would you answer the phone and then hang up Bro, answer the phone. Answer the phone. You keep calling me. Answer the phone. All right. She's not going to answer. Anyways, this is why I keep my circle extremely, extremely small. God literally was telling me for the last few months, bro, I had this video of Mikey scamming. I had this video. I swear to God on everything I love. I had this video on my on my uh, computer for like three months, bro. I even deleted the video off my memory card. Usually when I delete videos off my memory card, they're gone. They're literally gone. For some reason why this video stayed on my computer. If you know anything. You're telling me. Jesus Christ. What the she keeps calling me. Oh my god. Holy shit. Stop fucking calling me. Oh my god. Bro, this girl keeps fucking calling me, bro. Oh, here she go. Hello? Yes, I, I am sorry. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. All right, give me like two seconds and I'll call you, okay? Oh my God. Give me like two seconds, please. Just give me. I'm on live real quick. Give me two seconds. All right, so what you want me to do right now? You can't use your phone. What you want me to do? What do, you, what do you want me to do? You you can't use your phone right now. What do you what can I possibly do right now? All right, so what you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm not T-Mobile. I'm not AT&T, nigga. What you want me to do? All right, so what you want me to do? Please tell me what you want me to do. It was an accident. It was a, you know, I don't save numbers in my phone. You know, I don't save numbers in my phone. All right, I'm sorry, but let me call you in like two seconds. Can I call you in like, all right, so what you want me to do? I'm on live, what you want me to do? You're in Puerto Rico. You're in Puerto Rico trying to have a vacation. My nigga, do me a favor. Put your shit on. Do not disturb and enjoy your fucking vacation. You, If you're in Puerto Rico, you don't need to use your phone. Put your shit on. Do not disturb. All right, so what you want me to do? What you want me to do, nigga? Didn't I just tell you I don't save numbers in my phone? So that shit was a mistake. Bruh, I tried. But honestly, like...
It was a mistake, okay? All right, so what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Tell me what you want me to do. Fix it. Okay, how would you like for me to fix that you're... Bro, I swear women are insane. She's telling me to fix her phone so people can stop calling her phone. What do you want me to do? I can't do anything. But anyways, Mikey is a prime example of why I don't really fuck with a lot of people. I don't really let people get in my circle. I don't really let people get close to me. I don't really let just anybody in SSH. I know I do all these like, oh, you want to be in SSH? You want to be in SSH? But I'm very, very cautious on that because of people just like Mikey. Mikey. In the beginning, he was great. I really appreciated everything he did. He he went the extra mile when a lot of niggas in SSH wouldn't. And I truly appreciated that. I really did. He went the extra mile. But then as months went by and the months continued to go by, he, he just lost himself. And he lost himself in the money and the fame. And that's easily to be done. But what he always forgets is that where you were before SSH, you can never forget where you was before SSH. Never, ever forget. I don't give a fuck what you say. Fake this, fake that, money this, money that. Nigga, you have an opportunity. You have a platform. Make your own fucking money. I just, I swear to God, I just talked to this girl, bro. I just talked to this girl and she wants to call me. All right, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Oh, my God. What do you want me to do? Again, I did not try to do that. What do you want me to do? Yo, you have to be drunk. You're drunk. Great. Wow. You're drunk. Okay, you're drunk. I understand it. Do me a favor. Okay, listen. I'm, I'm trying to be... I didn't try to expose your number. I'm sorry. I didn't try to expose your number. I'm sorry. What did I just say to you? I just said I did not try to expose your number. I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. I just said what it was. Oh, my God. Let me call you in like two minutes, all right? This girl is drunk out of her mind. Oh, my God, bro. I'm keeping this shit on mute. Anyways, bro, this is why Mikey's a prime example of why I don't let people into SSH. And I don't, ex I like, I honestly, I had to, like I said, I had the video on my computer for three months. Somehow, some way, the shit didn't get deleted. She about to call me back. Somehow, some way, the shit didn't get deleted. I don't know how. I felt like, honestly, it was God telling me that this shit needed to be exposed and he needed to not be in SSH because, like I said in the video, for the longest time, I just sat there and let him do what he was doing because, one, I wanted to believe that it wasn't true. Two, I wanted to believe that he was going to do better. And three, I wanted him to get I wanted to give him the opportunity to do better. I wanted to give Mikey that opportunity. I, I already told y'all in 2021, I'm not on no drama, no shit like that. So I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to yell at this nigga. I don't care what this nigga say. The only thing I care is to protect my brand. And that's it. I don't care to do anything. I don't care about anything else. I don't care to, to make him like there's so much shit that I can say about this nigga. I don't care to do that. I'm not finna be yelling none of that shit. I'ma just really tell it the way it is. I really felt like God was telling me to post that fucking video. I had that bitch locked and loaded for three fucking months, bro. Three months. And after I seen the shit of him posting the website where he's telling niggas to, to go buy a PS5 for retail, then I, I knew it was over. I knew that his mindset and 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 what he truly wanted out of life was beyond just what was in front of him. And at that point, you cannot help somebody. I can no longer help him. So, and that's that. Mikey, you done. You no longer in SSH. And and again, like I said, I don't fuck with nobody, y'all. I literally, I don't fuck with nobody. I don't fuck with no YouTubers. I don't fuck with no rappers. I don't fuck with none of these niggas. I could care less, bro. I could care less about what another nigga's doing. I could care less about... Uh, 
uh, socializing with niggas and doing all of this. And this is why there's so many people that, that tend to hate me. It's because, like, all right, if Fredo don't fuck with me, then I, I have no option but to, to hate on this nigga. It's cool. But the niggas that are around me, the only, I, me personally, this is how I feel. I'd rather have a bunch of loyal lions around me than a bunch of fucking sheep. A lot of people have that. They have a lot of fucking sheep just running around them just because they're famous, because they're successful, this and that, this and that. Like, I will never be one of them niggas. I don't care to be one of them niggas. I don't care to be a nigga on the scene, in the scenes. Like, no, y'all have never seen me like that. Y'all will never, ever see me like that. I will never, ever be that type of person. Ever. So, Mikey, I wish the, I wish the best for you. Do what you got to do. Be who you are. I don't care. Um, all, all I had to do was clear up that shit with the girl because out of respect for the girl, it's just, it's just fucked up. It's super fucked up. And the fact... Yo, and this how I know. Hold on, let me let me let me show y'all this shit. Let me show y'all this shit. Let me show y'all this before before I leave, cause I'm about to go. I'm about to go be. I'm about to go be with my girl. All right, I'm not even finna do this shit for the whole night. But this, I'm gonna show y'all how fake this nigga is. I'm gonna show y'all this shit right now. This is how lame this nigga is. I'm gonna show y'all. Let me show y'all how lame this nigga is. This nigga Mikey is the lamest nigga I, I ever laid my eyes on, bro. Look how fake this video is. Hold on. Hey, true. Right. I'm not sugarcoating. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. I'm not lying about nothing. I'm letting everything out. Everything is out. First off, I want to say the video Fiddle posted is 100% true. It's not fake. No doubt. It's a real video. It's not cap. It's not. Holy shit. I'm looking at my Instagram DMs and it's just straight hate. And I understand I completely deserve this hate. What I did was completely wrong. Even though I haven't done it since then. I haven't done it in a long time. I've been clean for, I would say, the past four or five months. I've this nigga is a liar, bro. This nigga is a liar. You know, you know what's sad about Mikey, right? I'm going to tell y'all the sad thing about Mikey. So at the end of the video where, you know, I made him pay the people back for, you know, for for what he did. Right. I made him pay the people. I made him pay the people back. The sad part about that is that this nigga literally charged back right after he sent these people to literally right after right after he sent the money, he charged back. Yo, what's good? Yo, what's up, bro? So if y'all don't know who this is, this is the victim for, you know, Mikey yeah. getting scammed. And I didn't I didn't notice up until recently, but he sent you the money and then what happened? All right, so actually he he only sent the I think it was to be exact the night we were there cuz remember even in the video just so y'all know I'm not bullshitting y'all. He was saying something about um with his card or he didn't have basically didn't have enough money at the time. Y'all hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. So he didn't have enough money to send the rest. So I'm like, you said to him, okay, you're going to send the rest later, right? He was like, yeah. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. I just had a feeling this nigga was not going to send the rest. But I didn't want to say it because you know that day was fucking crazy. And just so let me, let, me make this, let me make this clear to the fans. So Mikey, when we met up, he was, you know, I made him pay these people back, right? So this is one of the victims that he paid back in the video. After he pays the people back and says sorry and all this shit, he then continues. After this is is over with, he then continues to charge them back. If you don't know what that means, that means that he literally called his bank and disputed the charge. Now leaving the victims in debt. So now you are now what negative what how much? It said it said negative five hundred on cash app negative, and that was the exact amount for the PlayStation. So look, exactly this, is, this, this is what this I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you $500 from my own money from the mistakes that he's made to you. All right? Thank I'm going to send that. All right? Because yeah. I think it's personally fucked up that you're sending money back to make yourself look good on camera. But then behind closed doors, then you're disputing the charge. So right. that tells me right then and there, you didn't mean... The, any apologies or anything you really said from the start 
you're really a lame ass nigga. What's your what's your cash app so I can say? Oh, it's the same as on Instagram. So it's dollar sign mm -hmm. the prince p r i the yeah the prince p r i n c Lawrence Rent Russell. Yeah, damn. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Nigga. Sorry, bro. I had to make sure. Yeah, you good, bro. All right, look. I'm gonna send you five hundred dollars of my own money, bro. All Appreciate right? that, bro. Hold on. That's sent right there. Yeah, yes. right. so the government, though, I appreciate it, though, man. Hey, man, your government own that bitch. That ain't